So guys, I'm using Windows 11, but this also works the exact same way for Windows 10 as well. So now once you're on this screen, you wanna click on the power button, and then you wanna hold shift on your keyboard. Make sure that you're holding on shift and then click on restart. Now as the computer is restarting, keep on holding on shift. We should then bring you into this screen. Now once you're on this screen, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, command prompt. If it tells you to select your account, you wanna just select it, which will then bring you to here. Now once you're on this, you wanna type in reg edit and click on enter. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on the HQ local machine folder once, then you wanna click on file and then click on load hive. And now you wanna click on this PC and you wanna find the drive we have Windows installed on. It's probably gonna be your C drive. Then you wanna click on Windows and you wanna scroll down and then double click on system 32. Now once you're on here, you wanna scroll down and then click on config and then you wanna scroll down again until you find Sam, double click on Sam. And now this will come up. You could just call it any name you want. I'm just gonna call it speedy and then click on okay. And now you wanna expand HK local machine. Now once you've expanded HK local machine, the folder that you just made should be here. So I'm gonna expand the folder, which I called speedy. And then you wanna expand Sam, which is under it. Then you wanna expand domains. Then you want to expand account. Then you want to expand users. And now you want to click on the folder which ends in F4. So now once you're on this, you want to double click on F. And then you want to find the line with the last numbers 38. And it's going to have the number 11 next to it. So now you want to put your cursor right here. You want to click right here. And then you want to delete 11 and then type in 10 instead. So I'm just going to delete this and type in 10. Now it looks like this, 38 with a 10 instead of 11. And now once you've done all that, you wanna click on okay. Now you can close out all of this. And now you wanna click on continue and go to Windows. And now once you're back on Windows, you wanna head over to search and type in computer management. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you wanna expand local users and groups. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on users. And then you wanna find the account they're having a problem with. You wanna double click on it. And then for you, it's going to say that the account is disabled. So you want to untick this. Untick account is disabled and then click on OK. And then that should fix the problem. And if you want to disable the admin account that we just made, you want to double click on administrator. And then you can tick account is disabled and then click on OK. Now you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. And by the way, this admin option that you just did, it is optional. You don't have to do it, but you can do it if you want to.